Why don't girls like nice guys? Why do they prefer bad boys and assholes? And most importantly, what's a nice guy need to do to start attracting the ladies? Hey, I get it. Even I like to think of myself as a nice guy. And yet we've all experienced getting friend zones or getting dumped by a girl who later on hooked up with a jerk. And if you don't change soon, it'll keep happening to you. That's the bad news. What's the good news? Here it is. It's actually easy to change. That's because you don't need to change your personality or overhaul your wardrobe or anything like that. Instead, it all starts with knowing the one big difference between nice guys and assholes. And no, it's not confidence, or cocky and funny, or whatever you've been taught to believe. What's one big difference? I'll tell you what it is in just a moment. Right now, though, do take a few seconds to click the like button below this video. After you click like, I'll show you the one big difference between nice guys and assholes. After I do, you'll immediately understand why women like jerks more than nice guys. And nope, it's not confidence, or swagger, or cocky and funny, or whatever you might think. What's the one big difference? Just click on the like button right now, and you'll find out right after. Go ahead and click like now because I'll wait here. Done clicking like? Awesome. So here's one big difference. Again, it's not confidence or swagger. It's not some cheesy pickup trick. Instead, it's simply dominance. Yup, you heard that right. Dominance. Other people might call it leadership or authority or alphaness. Whatever. The root principle is the same and it's dominance. The difference is that assholes dominate their relationships while nice guys do not. Women know in no unclear terms jerks and assholes are the bosses in their relationships, not them. So why don't girls like nice guys? It's because they cannot feel that sense of dominance in nice guys, and that makes all the difference. So let me say that again. Dominance is the key. And unfortunately, most men have been brainwashed to think that dominance is a bad thing. Instead, most of us have been raised to believe that equality between sexes is the norm. And no, it's really not. Or at least, definitely not when it comes to sex and relationships. Now, you might be thinking, but Fredo, does that mean I have to become an asshole for women to like me? Well, yes and no. Yes, because as an asshole, you'll be somewhat more successful with the ladies than you'd be as a nice guy. No doubt about that. At the same time, no, because an asshole is an asshole, and women eventually leave their asshole boyfriends. So instead, here's what I suggest you do. You got to follow what I call the DCR protocol. What's that? It's a kind of middle ground between a nice guy and an asshole, with the best features of both and none of the worst. Most importantly, the DCR protocol equips you with the key attraction ingredient, dominance. And that's even if you're not a naturally dominant type of guy. That way, while women avoid nice guys and leave assholes, they'll be chasing you. Women will feel drawn to you, even the ones you're not particularly attracted to. Does that kind of abundance sound good to you? If it does, then do take a moment to click on the subscribe button below this video. After you click subscribe, I'll tell you all about the DCR protocol and how it's going to change your life forever. Are you ready for it? If you are, then click subscribe right now. Go ahead because I'll wait here till you do. Have you subscribed? Right, good job. Now let me tell you about the DCR protocol. This was first introduced to me by the dating coach Derek Rake. If you haven't heard of Derek before, he's a San Diego-based dating coach and mentalist. He's made a name for himself by teaching not pickup artist advice, but mind control. He teaches students to understand the female mind completely and then go from there. And the DCR protocol happens to be one of his fundamental lessons. So what's it all about? DCR stands for Don't Chase, Replace. And it's a mindset where you absolutely do not chase, pursue, or even court women. And when a woman you like doesn't like you back, it's fine. You don't chase her. Instead, you replace her by meeting and spending your time with new women. And there are thousands of them out there. Imagine a guy who used the DCR protocol. He's confident and non-needy, and he follows his own rules when it comes to meeting and dating women. As a result, women feel drawn to him. He's not like the needy, insecure men they meet all the time, posturing for attention. It isn't long before a growing number of women feel attracted to him and start trying to win him. How does a guy like that look like? Smooth? Strong? Dominant? You bet. The DCR protocol equips you with the fundamentals of dominance. 
Even if you're not a dominant guy by nature, or not yet anyway, it makes you look dominant. And when women see you as a dominant guy, that's all that matters. So how do you use the DCR protocol? Just start with the following adjustments. First, no more chasing women. Instead, you got to start accepting the fact that if a woman likes you, she will chase you. Secondly, you got to have a bigger purpose in life than just being successful with women. It could be work-related, or family-related, or world-related, and so on. It doesn't matter what your purpose is, it just has to be bigger than women. And thirdly, if a woman makes you choose between her and your bigger purpose in life, you must be ready. You got to be 100% prepared to let go of her because, after all, she's replaceable. And ironically, this readiness to drop her actually makes you much more attractive. You'll see it for yourself. That's the DCR protocol. And if you're a nice guy, your long-term approach to finally becoming the kind of guy every woman wants. Strong, dominant, and purpose-driven. Now, as great as the DCR protocol is, it has one drawback. And that's the fact that it takes time. You'll need to be meeting new women fairly regularly. And that means nurturing a healthy social life of some sort, which you may not have at the moment. That's why you'll need a second technique. You'll need one that can make women see you as a strong, dominant, attractive guy instantly. Not in a few months or weeks, but the moment she meets you. And that technique is called fractionation. What's that? Fractionation is a conversation technique. It's specially designed to make women feel addicted to you. They won't notice it in your words, but they'll feel it deep inside. They'll start seeing you as a dominant, attractive, irresistible guy, even if you're just talking to them. Can you imagine how women get hooked on popular TV shows, or erotic novels, or shopping, and so on? That's the kind of addiction you'll make women feel towards you. Fractionation is mind control at its most powerful. Want to learn about it? Then here's what I got for you. If you wait just a moment, a link will pop up inside this video. When you see it, click on it. It'll take you to a special online masterclass on mind control. It'll be hosted by Derek Rake himself, and he'll teach you all about fractionation there. This masterclass is the fastest way to master fractionation and start using it today. So capitalize on the opportunity right now. Click the link and sign up for the masterclass using your best email address. As soon as you qualify, Derek himself will send you your invite ticket. Remember, it'll take you some time to lose the nice guy persona and women will stop drawing closer to you. So why not speed things up? Fractionation will get you started and fast. If you've been a nice guy all your life, then this online masterclass will change everything. Go ahead, take the leap, click the link, and join now. Do it. Click the link now.